early morning, 9.30. So now I have my own goggles too. It's terrific, very <laughs> smart. So here we are in Costco at the request of the viewers, Vin Rouge, some red wine. Yeah, Vin Rouge. And we're having a pizza party for Bernadette's birthday. And so let's take a look. We'll start down here. All right. So these are by and large higher price than we're gonna pay mm -hmm. for our pizza party. Yeah. Uh, today we have a budget. Yes, but it's my Last budget. time it was uh, 200 bucks, but today it's Bernadette's birthday, so it's 300 bucks. Wonderful. Don't feel right? For four people? For four people. That sounds, right. that sounds great. Okay. If we had an unlimited budget, wines that I see here that I know, the Dominus is world class. Uh huh. The BV George de la Tour Reserve, mm -hmm. world class. But since we are in California, we're going to get a California red wine. The Silverado is probably going to be the bang for the buck, though the Stag Leaps wines are very good. All right. Then uh, let's do like this. Our budget is 250, but for one extra bottle, the budget is unlimited. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Please, Bernadette. Please, Bernadette. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Very important. That is very important. <laughs> All right, I like this. I like this. I'm liking this more and more. All right. <laughs> Second stag sleep wine. Mm -hmm. As we call from our Chardonnays, the Kennel Jackson Chardonnay, at a good price point, turned out to be a good wine. Yeah, it's true. Well, you know, we're having these wines with pizza, and generally, <laughs> oaked wines don't go that well with pizza. Mm -hmm. So let's move on to the international yeah. wine. All right. Or there's still some domestic here. Zinfandel can go well with pizza. It all depends upon whether or not the producer resisted the temptation to make it too ripe and too oaky, in which case I don't like it with pizza. Uh huh, too jammy. Too jammy. Yeah. And now we're moving into Italy. Well, we're having pizza. Italy. Italy. <laughs> <laughs> So let's see, we've got Chianti. Mm -hmm. We need at least one Chianti. Yeah, I agree. Right? We can always bump up fuller body to uh, a Brunello uh -huh. or even an Amarone. Mm -hmm. The Allegrini is a very good producer. Last time this was bready, right? Yes. We're going to avoid this one. Yeah. The vintage was different, but it was bready anyway. And we got Chianti Classico. Mm -hmm. This is, I'll do my one Peter joke, the black cock. <laughs> <laughs> Meaning Rustelli. black rooster. Peter may not be here, but <laughs> his humor lives on. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> okay, so, and again, uh, we've got more expensive Chianti Classicos. This Montes Angel can be delightful, but it's very extracted, very oaky, something that needs to be aged for five to ten years before drinking, then it would be world class. I see. But we're having it for pizza. Mm -hmm. We have a couple of Kirkland wines here, a Kirkland uh, Coteron, though we've spent so much time on Coteron with the viewers, we'll avoid that. Marquis de Riscal, inexpensive Spanish uh, Rioja. Uh -huh. Bernadette it's really good price. Yeah, Bernadette <coughs> loves Gigondas, so we may go for this Gigondas. Uh -huh. The Catina family makes among the best Malbecs in Argentina. We have so many choices. We've got so many choices. <laughs> and then they used to have a larger selection of Bordeaux, but it shrunk. We're going to focus mostly on Italy. All right. We'll get a Californian wine and let's spend some money. Okay, let's spend some money. <laughs> if you have some empty boxes, we'd be glad to take them off your hand. You know what? I have some around the corner. Okay. Uh, just behind this aisle. Okay. Empty boxes, correct. You have to know the territory. Oh, here we go. Oh. An empty box for you. Okay, so let's see. Ah. Here's a wine that I is will not be in our list. Which is? I had bought a bottle of this Yao Ming from my friend Jerry when he was alive, and it was terrible. 
It was terrible. It was terrible. Yeah. Uh, certainly for the price. Now, I've been very happy in the past with Silverado, owned by the Disney family, or oh. members of the Disney family, and the prices generally tend to be very good. So we'll give it a try. So this is $34. Okay. Let's, okay. let's go to Italy. <laughs> right. Barbaresco and Barolo is a bit tough because the wines can be very tight and they benefit from aging. If we buy one, we're going to have to decant it and let it sit for a little while. I can do that. <laughs> I can decant it. Barbaresco. Let's do the Barbaresco. Actually, huh. 14 was a tough year in much of Europe, but some produce pretty okay wines. Let's go with the fine tannins here, though the shelf talkers aren't always all that accurate. All right. So this is going to bring us up to just about $70. Okay. So we'll turn this in a bit of a tour of Italy. Mm-hmm. Amarone. Allegrini. Amarone made from dried grapes. Allegrini is a very good producer. $120. $120. In total, In so total, far. So far. Now, so the question is, which Chianti, or do we get two Chiantis? Two Chiantis. Sound good. Let's see how these compare price-wise. Where were we? 70, 120, 120, and this is about 50, 170. 170. So, Viticcio Chianti Classico, and then... San Giusto Rentenano Chianti Classico. Let's do the Gigandas. Yeah? Because Burgundas loves Gigandas. That's Kirkland brand, That's right? It's Kirkland brand. I'm ready for the bonus wine now. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go. Let's go to get a bonus wine. Now, you know, the bonus wine is for... The truth is, it's for you and me. <laughs> it's for this person. <laughs> yeah, but it's a good excuse. It is a good excuse. <laughs> There's no... Choice. No budget. No budget at all. As I used to say in the Latin Mass, <laughs> Dominus Pobisco, Ectum Spiritu Tuo. That's beautiful stuff, yeah. It is. And it's not irrigated. It's not irrigated. It's not irrigated. And the reason being is that the Napa River is underground and it's sometimes higher up or lower down. In Dominus, it's close enough that when the vines need it, they get some water and then it, the level drops down and it's almost as if, as if they're partially dry farmed. So there's no irrigation there. At least there wasn't when I last visited. I see. So we spent some money. Yeah. Dominus Estate. And we'll decant that as well. All right, I'll do that. Great. So is it finished? Finito Benito. <laughs> that was quick as always. <laughs> Bye Waffles, we will soon be tasting. Yeah. Madonna, che fa la pizza? Sì, è un forno a legna. Questo forno è di Italia. Deliziosa! The dog is saying, I want some Sangiovese. <laughs> Give me gigantas. <laughs> exactly. Look at what I found.